Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Dwarf Fortress. For those of you that don't know what Dwarf Fortress is, Dwarf Fortress is a game, it's a uh, roguelike and it can be somewhat defined as a survival craft game where you have to build stuff to survive. In this video I'll show you how to make a quantum stockpile. What is a quantum stockpile? A quantum stockpile is just a very useful way of storing items For example, here I have a stockpile with wood in it. But every piece of wood takes up one space. If you have a lot of items, then this can quickly become very uh, inconvenient. So what we are going to do is we're going to create a handy device that allows us to store an unlimited amount of items in only one space. What you have to do is you have to build a track stop but now you have to pay close attention. Before you uh, execute the building command you have to change the direction to dump the item. In this case I'll be dumping it south because I'm going to build another stockpile right below. And I'll use one of my uh, wood locks to build it. and you need to have a dwarf with the me mechanic labor active in order to construct this item so I'm going to uh, pick one of my dwarves my engraver armor smith and I'm going to give him the mechanics labor so he goes and builds uh, the track stop so you need uh, a first stockpile this is the stockpile that my dwarves will uh, haul all the items to. You need a track stop and a haul hauling route, but you need also a second stockpile. This is the destination stockpile. This is where everything will ultimately end. So I'm going to <coughs> disable take from anywhere. This is not really necessary, but it's just... Uh, well... Uh, it's a little bit better to do it like this. Uh, so it will only take from links. So if you link it to another stockpile, it will only take from that stockpile. That means that there will be no job uh, labors generated by this stockpile. So dwarves will never ever ever go get wood to put on this tile. So the track stop has been built. So what you have to do now is press H for hauling and then R to create a new route. Once you have created a new route, you can give it a nickname. Uh, you have to create a track stop. So first you have to move your cursor to the right location and then you press S. Then you press enter to change the settings of this stop, you will see that there are certain preset uh, rules. You just press X to eliminate these rules. Then you press Enter to designate the desired items. In this case, I only need wood, so I'm going to enable the wood, and then you have to uh, press Escape to go back to the previous menu then you have to assign a vehicle press a V and then you choose the vehicle in this case a minecart and now one of my dwarves will grab the minecart put it on the location and then normally this uh, I forgot one more thing so there is one more thing that we have to do in order to make this work is we have to link a stockpile you can see that you can uh, set a new stockpile link by pressing S. So we're going to use the cursor over our uh, first stockpile of wood. And then I'm going to press S and this will create a stockpile link. And now my dwarves will take everything from this stockpile, put it into the minecart and then the track stop will dump it all on this tile. 
and now we have successfully created a quantum stockpile. Now because this stockpile is empty now, this creates uh, new jobs for my other dwarves if there is wood, but there is currently only three pieces of wood. So they are going to fetch this, this wood, put it into the stockpile and then it's going to create a command to put it in the minecart and then it's going to dump it. And if you look here, you can have essentially an unlimited amount of items on one tile. I'm going to uh, build a second quantum stockpile just to demonstrate this. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to st quickly start uh, a small program. So you can see what buttons I'm pressing. So, um, build a track stop. I'm going to build it right here. Choose the item that you want to use. Some logs. Wait for the mechanic to build it. There he is. Oh, actually, it was a carpenter. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're going to build a. Oh no, we're going to build a stockpile by pressing P, and then this is going to be a bars stockpile. But I'm going to uh, make it a custom stockpile. So I made two stockpiles and now I'm going to set them to enable um, metal bars. I'm going to permit all the metal bars and um, oh yeah, all the metal blocks and also the coal because I have a lot of coal. And that's actually what I want to dump so I think that should be okay. See if I need anything else? Nope. And then also change the settings of this stockpile. So again, enable the stones, block them all, permit the... Oh, no, actually I'm... <laughs> um, disable... Block... Permit... And there we go. Oh, and one more thing. Take from links only. And now um, they will put some of the coal in that stockpile. And then I'm going to create another uh, hauling route with uh, a stop right there. And I'm going to name it uh, my bar stockpile. I'm going to change the settings to take from this stockpile and I'm gonna allow him to take all the the bars and blocks. I don't have to specify it because he will only take the items from that stockpile and I already specified the items that I want in that stockpile. So, And I'll use the second minecart and if everything goes well you will see that my dwarves will now store all the... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, kn I made a mistake. So it's good because you can learn from my mistake. The thing that I did wrong, I'm going to uh, just disable everything for a moment. But what have I done is the the track stop that I built, I forgot to set it to dump, so the items don't get dumped. So I have to remove. I'll just have to remove the track stop and build a new one and this time I'll put it to dump south so there it goes and then yep and there it goes so my mechanic has built um, the track stop, they moved the minecart off the track stop, then somebody moved it on the track stop and then everything got dumped. So now I can re-enable 
the items, the bars and the blocks. And now my dwarves will continue to uh, put everything in the minecart. Now I notice that I have some more coal in my other stockpile. Coke actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to create another link. So a new, um, a new stockpile link. So now they will also take from that stockpile. So that is how you build a quantum stockpile. I hope this video was useful for you so you can use this in your own fortress. Keep in mind that this might change in future uh, future versions of the games but I find it quite convenient so I hope they don't change this. Good luck in your game and see you next time.